welcome to my channel, Paparazzi by Lawanda. Today I'm going to show you how to change this white pegboard into this festive pegboard. So what we're going to do is, well, what I have done was I went to Home Depot and got a humongous pegboard and I had them to cut it into six pieces. I think it's 24 inches across and I think 30, 36 inches across. So it's going to make six, six boards. You, if you can see, I have two here and then I have two more here that I'm going to make. And so I'm going to take this white pegboard and make it into this. And I'm going to show you how. The supplies you'll need is just whatever duct tape you're going to use. There's um, several different types of duct tape you can use. And for this one, I'm going to use this. For the black ones, I've used pink uh, duct tape. And there's also um, a zebra print duct tape, uh, just different types of duct tape depending on what you like. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The only thing you have to do with this is just um, pull your duct tape across. And what I'm going to do is cover up the first line of holes on the pegboard. This is super simple, super easy to do. Um, when you're just starting out with your paparazzi business and you want to go ahead and get your pegboards done. So I'm just going to take my duct tape and place it over the first row of holes and just press down. Make sure that it's straight and just press down and cut. You don't want to cut too much, uh, too far over. You want to cut closer to the edge of the pegboard. And then what you're going to do is just, um, just fold it down. So it's going to look like this with your duct tape standing up on it. And let me show you the back. This is what it looks like behind. And what you're going to do is just fold this in like this. And what I do is I just cut the top of it off. And this little part here, I just fold it down. I kind of like pull it a little bit and fold it down. Pull and fold down. Pull and fold down, making sure that it's it's all taped down. And I'm going to fold this side in and cut the top of it off really quick, just to eliminate some excess, you know, tape. So I'm just going to pull it a little bit, make sure it's nice and tight and fold it down. Making sure that it's nice and tight and folding it down. And here's the first side of the pegboard. And like I said, you can do it with any type of duct tape you like, any color. Um, and you're going to go through all four sides doing the same thing, covering the first set of holes up here with the tape, folding your ends in and pulling it tight on the back and sticking it down. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that done and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, I am back working on my last section of the pegboard. I am going to go ahead and finish it up. And like I said before, I'm just covering the first set of holes that's on here. Leaving a little excess so it can fold to the back. 
making sure that it's straight and cutting. And then I'm gonna pull tightly and seal. Pulling and sealing it, making sure that it's pulled tight. And I'm going to fold in the other side and cut the This is the finished product. I have put the duct tape all around the edges of the board. I have placed some accessories on the board. So here are the earrings, here's the bracelets, and here are some necklaces that I put on the board to show you what the finished product will look like once you have your board all together. So please um, click the thumbs up button for me. Comment below what you would like to see. Also, don't forget to hit the bell for the post notifications. And also, don't forget to subscribe. All of my information website will be in the description box below. Don't forget to access. <laughs>